Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to configure your, your email application on your Android device. Yes, I know you think it's easy, but sometimes it's difficult as hell. And for that purpose I have created a special an email uh, box, which is test box at Tech Lab. This is the password and this is the general uh, the settings uh, of that uh, email box. So let's start configuring. Let's open an email application. Okay, it's others in this case. Email address. It's test box at alien tech lab dot com and the password is abcd backslash one two three four aliantechlab.com okay next uh, I have a IMAP server that's how it looks like this is the password uh, keep in mind that you should put as a username whole uh, email because if you put just uh, if you type just a username uh, you can get error uh, incorrect login on pass or password so this is one of the most common uh, problems so put whole email here as a username okay so a security type security type is uh, SSL TLS accept all certificates in this particular case IMAP path prefix is uh, empty note that uh, the number of port has changed and let's click next and we have an error. Setup failed. Reasons may be the username or password is incorrect, the IMAP SMTP service, service is disabled, enable service and try again. For more information, contact your email service provider. Well, IMAP server is okay for sure, so there is something wrong with username or password. Let's check once again. Well, it's test box. Test box aliantechlab.com and it's abcd backslash one two three four it's perfectly okay perfectly fine and it cannot for some damn reason just connect how can we figure out what's wrong okay first of all uh, we have to know what's the uh, communication between our uh, email application and the server. And in order to get this uh, communication, you have to download from Play Store application called Packet Capture. Capture. So let's type Packet Capture. And this is that application. By the way, it's not my application. I just found it and it uh, was very helpful. So let's install it. Accept. Okay, it's installing. <coughs> Open. Get started. Continue. Uh, it requires to install a certificate. It captures even uh, encrypted uh, transmission, so that's why this uh, certificate is required. Click OK. You must set uh, a log screen pattern, pin, or password before you can. Use credential storage. Okay, let it be set. Let it click set. Let's choose a pin, and the pin should be another simple in this example. So it's one, two, three, four. Continue. One, two, three, four. Okay. And this is our application. I'll click the green uh, 
uh, triangle to start capturing data. OK. And as you can see, it's ready to capture. So we're going back to our uh, email application. And let's try again to send this request. And it's failed again for the same reason. So let's go back to the capturing uh, application. It should be. Uh, Much. And we have three captures. Okay, stop capturing. Let's see what we have got. Oh, there is a there is our email application, and that's the that's the transmission. And the most suspicious thing is that one. As you can see, there is a double backslash. Our password contains just one backslash. Well, backslash is a sign, uh, escape sign. It, it plays a specific role, especially in languages like C, C++, programming languages. So maybe it's misunderstood here, or maybe not. I'm not sure, but definitely it looks rather weird. And I'll show you now how to use Telnet to try to talk to your uh, IMAP server directly and let's try to repeat this comment so click right button here and choose run and type cmd okay that's a terminal and now we're trying to um, connect to tell net imap dot alien tech lab dot Okay, so it's telnet uh, imap uh, dot dot com, and the protocol is imap. And telnet is not recognized as internal or external command. Okay, so I have to, I don't have uh, telnet installed on my machine, so I have to install it. So I'm going to settings, control panel, uh, programs, programs and features. Turn Windows features on or off, and I'm looking for a Telnet client. Check it, click OK, wait for a while. OK, so close it, close it, let's reopen the terminal. Right button, run, CMD, OK, and let's try to type it once again. Telnet imap dot tech lab dot com and protocol name is imap. imap is a text protocol, so basically you use just you can talk to your server like almost uh, chatting with it. Enter and as you can see, it's okay right now. So uh, the server we are connected with a server. Um, the session is established. And now we're gonna type this comment. For some reason, uh, Telnet requires, at least IMAP protocol requires to use um, letter A and the number, in this case uh, 1, for every command that is sent. I don't know why, I don't care. Remember to put A1, A2, A3 before every line with a comment, otherwise, uh, the Telnet. Uh, complain about it. So the command is login. It doesn't have to be uh, capital letters. Login uh, test box at aliantechlab.com and the password in double quote is abcd double backslash exactly as our application tries to send it. One, two, three, four double quote uh, enter and it tells us no login incorrect well, actually login is fine but operation of logging in failed and this is exactly what the response was here 
Okay, so let's try to log in once again. This time it's A2. Login test box at aliantechlab.com. And the password this time will be exactly the same. So the correct one. A, B, C, D, backslash 1, 2, 3, 4. And as you can see, OK completed. So IMAP server does understand the original password, and for some reason, the email application sends a corrupted password. I'm going to log out, A3, log out. And it's OK, OK, goodbye. Connection to host lost. OK, it's closed. Uh, looks fine. So we know that the correct password is this one, and for some reason, uh, application sends corrupted one. And the simplest solution, if you somehow have created password that contains backslash, the simplest solution for you will be probably change this one sign to something else, like I don't know, maybe hash or or dash or whatever else. But remember, don't use uh, backslash. Rather, it's it may cause problems. Anyway, uh, in this video, I just wanted to t show you how to capture um, packets on your um, Android device. Uh, I wanted to show you that IMAP protocol is a text protocol, and I wanted to show you how to use Telnet uh, to talk uh, to server in such text uh, protocol. IMAP is not the only text protocol, so Telnet is a tool that you can use for other purposes. But you have to know, know how to install it and how to use it. So that's all for today. I hope I saved you hours of yelling, cursing and so on. Uh, if you have such bad luck to just use backslash uh, in your password. So that's it for today. Have a nice day. Bye.